So what treatments are there for fixing a dowager's hump or for fixing your bad posture? Well, I'd like to say that you could do it all by yourself. And for the most part, if you're in the early stages of changes, you certainly can. Um, but I would be doing a disservice to myself as a clinician and all the other wonderful therapists out there if I said you didn't need our help. There's a lot of great techniques that manual therapists, therapists that use their hands, um, can um, assist you with in helping regain your posture, whether it's myofascial release, whether it's taping, whether it's uh, doing uh, specific mobilization or um, movements of the vertebrae that have been stiff for a long time. Um, so there's many, many techniques that are available to the hands of the clinician um, once they see what your body specifically needs. Um, having said that, there's still a lot you can do leading up to finding that clinician or while you're working with the clinician. And so I'd like to cover some of those things with you now. So time to talk about sitting posture, which is not the way I'm demonstrating it. So when your knees are higher than your hips, it's very hard to sit up straight because having your knees higher than your hips tilts your pelvis back, flattens your low back. By flattening that nice little arch that once existed in the back, the rest of the back wants to fall forward and then the head follows. So the very first thing when trying to correct your posture in sitting is to alter the surface that you're sitting on. So one of the first things to look at is where are your knees relative to your hips. If I simply brought the chair up or sat because I'm short, I often have to sit on the edge of chairs. By doing so, my knees drop down below the height of my hips. That allows me to tilt my pelvis forward. Now, if I wanted to encourage that process a little bit more, I could roll up a little blanket, put it in underneath my sit bones. They also have devices like um, a, called a Dyna disc or a sit in disc. Um, they're inflatable discs that are actually covered in cloth or a little bit warmer fabric that you place under your pelvis to tilt your pelvis forward. So all of these things encourage a recreation of the or support of the little arch in the small of your back so that all of your vertebrae line up. Then that allows your head to come back over your shoulder. So getting out of the soft sofas the um, chairs that don't have the proper support for you are all very important. And this leads us to driving because a lot of the cars, um, the receipts are so poorly designed for the human body and same thing with airplane seats. So you have to almost recreate um, the concept of what I'm sharing with you, whether that's providing a lumbar roll, even though cars do often come with lumbar rolls. They're not often where your body needs it. So you have to deflate the one in the car and bring your own lumbar roll. Um, there's lots of companies that make little rolls that you can use or supports for your back, but simply using a little scarf or if you have extra uh, mittens in the winter time or half a paper towel roll or something that you can stick back there is really supportive. Then once, especially when you're driving, once you've set your best sitting posture, adjust your rear view mirror. And that's gonna be your reminder that if you don't see behind you, then you've slouched back down or you forgot to put your lumbar support in. So it's just little tips when you're driving and, um, and when you're sitting. So I hope these tips help you to make your sitting posture a little bit taller.